Okay, so nandito na tayo sa panibago nating topic ngayon, second grading period, second pre, second grading period kagad tayo, no? So, um, so yung second grading period natin, all, all about um, some topics in physics, no? In higher concept na siya, no? Higher, ta- um, kapag higher study ng konti. Hindi naman sa higher study, kapag we're talking about this, the basics of this topic, but uh, mas mahirap lang siya ng um, konti. No. So, um yung topic natin for this time it's all about the um electri- electromagnetic waves or EM waves, no. Um actually meron tayong tatlong topics lang for for second grading period. It's all about the electromagnetic waves, um the reflection and refraction of light and also in last it's all about the electricity and magnetism. Pero dito muna tayo sa una, no. Sa una nating topic it's all about the EM waves, no or electromagnetic waves. At alam ko naman na ito ay, itong topic na ito ay na-discuss na siya nung kayo ay grade 7 pa lamang. At medyo babalikan lang natin yung ilan sa mga topic, ilan sa mga concepts pagdating dito ng content. So, hindi naman tayo nagmamandali. Pwede. At, at tinasimulan. Um, nakikita nyo dito yung isang radyo and then suddenly, to get news and updates about natural disaster, we always ask ourselves how radio TV and some other appliances are working properly. How does a radio able to receive signals from stations? How do television access channels? So what do AM and FM means when talking about radio signals? So ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng AM at saka FM? No? Kasi palagi siya nakakita natin yan sa radio natin. No? Um, suddenly ngayon yung mga radio na tulad nito is um, hindi na natin gano'n nagagamit kasi nga um, dahil din sa capacity din ng ating internet ngayon at yun na tayo nakakuha ng mga um, ng mga sources ng news, di ba? And then, suddenly, um, malalaman natin siya later. So, ano yung, um, in terms of electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves, no, makikita natin yung characteristics ng waves. No? Just like yung wavelength, frequency, wave speed, period, at saka amplitude. Actually, hindi ko na ito masyado pang i-elaborate pa dahil ito ay na-elaborate ko na ito nung kayo ay grade 7 pa lamang po. So, pwede nyo balikan at pwede nyo nalang tignan dito. At alam ko na familiar na kayo dito sa mga sa mga symbols na naan dito. Especially ito. So, yung wavelength, ito po yung ibig sabihin nito. Ito yung Greek letter na ginagamit at ang tawag sa kanya is lambda. No? Lambda na yung tawag. Lambda yung tawag sa kanya. So, proceed na tayo sa, ma- sa susunod nating lesson. Ah, susunod nating topic, no? So, in terms of waves, we have a different wave properties such as reflection, refraction, interference, and diffraction. Mechanical waves requires medium to propagate, no? And then, EM waves differ a lot from mechanical waves. And then, mechanical mechanical waves do not require a medium to propagate. Ano yung medium? Ito yung material na ginagamit natin. So, in terms of anatomy ng EM waves, no, they are classified into categories just like yung radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. They can be described by frequency, energy, and wavelength. No? So, Um, radio waves and microwaves are described by frequency or yung unit na ginagamit natin is yung hertz and then yung infrared infrared rays and visible light by wavelength or yung meter and then x-rays and gamma rays by energy or suddenly ito yung electron volts electron volts or EV EV ang ganyang ginagamit yung E maliit lang and then yung V yun yung malaki no? yung EV ito yung unit na ginagamit to determine the Um, the value of X-rays and gamma rays. Then, each of the EM radiation exhibit unique set, um, unique set of frequency, wavelength, um, and frequency, wavelength, and energy. However, the product of frequency and wavelength of each EM radiation results to a constant quantity of 3 times 10 to the positive 8 meter per second. So, itong, ano to, itong nakikita ninyo, nakikita nyo value na yan. Yan yung speed of light. This means that each of the spectrum ranges travel at the same speed as of the visible light with the speed being constant. You can deduce the frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength. 
no? So thus the region that regions that, that exhibit high frequencies have short wavelengths and regions with low frequencies and have long wavelengths. On the other hand, energy is directly proportional to the frequency. Thus, spectrum ranges with high frequencies have high energy, while those with low frequencies do have low energy. So, nakikita ninyo, meron silang direct proportional. No? Direct proportion with each other. Kung tataas yung, um, kung tataas yung frequency, eh di mataas yung kanyang energy. Kung mababa yung kanyang frequency, uh, we expect na mababa din ang kanyang energy. So, in the radio waves, um, these waves are received by the transistor radio. Kasi nung kapanahunan, no, kung tayo tatanong natin sa mga, ano natin, sa mga lolo at lola natin, ang tawag sa radio, sa mga radio dati, bago pa tawag ng radio yan, ang tawag dyan is transistor. No? Ang transistor yung tawag sa kanya. And then, it converts the received waves to mechanical vibrations to create the sound waves you can hear. These kind of waves are also divided into a spectrum. So, the low and medium frequency are the AM signals we receive in our um, radio. The AM stands for amplitude modification. Modulation. Amplitude modulation na tawag sa AM. Yan. Ganyan ang itsura ng AM. Paano naman ang FM? Yung FM, ito po yung frequency modulation belongs to the very high frequency ranges while the sweet spot where TV channels, GSM, 3G, and Wi-Fi are accessed below, belong to the ultra-high frequency ranges. So, ayan yung AM at saka, ayan yung differences ng, um, ng mga radio waves between AM and FM. Ulitin natin ng AM, amplitude modulation. And then yung FM, ito po yung frequency modulation. And then, in terms of modulation, how are the radios converted to AM, FM, or other modulation? Sorry about this. Dapat question mark yan. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. So, modulation means changes. AM waves, um, such as radio waves, are random noise in the air. They only become meaningful when they are changed into useful signals. So, so a good example of modulation um, is how our sense of sight works. No, ganyan lamang siya. And then, a blank piece of paper is nothing unless someone writes or draws on it. The illustrations or writing com writings communicate useful information. In the same way, still air um, still uh, nasa na ba ako? Still air needs modulation or change to create vibrations, resulting the voice or music to be useful. Changes in radio waves can be in amplitude or frequency. So, AM radio in the Philippines operates in the range of frequency from 535 up to 1605 kHz, no? assigned at 10 kHz interval. AM signals bounce off the upper atmosphere but often encounters more noise and interference than FM, especially during thunderstorm. The FM ranges from 88 up to 108 megahertz. These higher ranges of frequency makes FM signals more limited and better, and are better for music. No, kaya mas marami to matambi sa FM per sa e, sa AM. Kung baga, um, correct me if I am wrong. Ah. Um, sa AM or in mga balita ito or sometimes na um, yun nga yung alam mo yung mga pang oldies no? dito nilolunch yun sa AM and then sa FM it's all about the, um, the pwede sila mag stream ng music or some, something na merong podcast basta more entertainment and music dito sa FM na to. but correct me if I am wrong correct me if I am wrong pagdating dito sa interpretation ko between the AM and then the FM and then, radio waves are not only good at transmission of AM, FM, and other modulations. It also serves as a window to universe where visible light is not very much of help. help no. So, large dish telescope that capture radio emissions of heavenly bodies were designed to gather stellar and other outer space information using radio waves, not visible light. These are known as radio telescopes. They gather data based on the radio waves which makes it free from clouds and dust interruptions in viewing the sky. So, in terms of microwave, ano, so if we cook popcorn kernels in the microwave oven for their snacks, what made popcorn pop inside the oven? Microwave ovens used 
microwaves about 12 cm in length. These waves force water and fat molecules in food to rotate. This rotation creates heat to cook the food. The wonders of microwaves are not limited to popcorns. No, so global positioning system or GPS uses L-band microwaves to penetrate um, clouds, dust, and ano pa ba? particles to reach your cars. It can also go through forest canopy to measure the soil moisture in rainforest. So ganun po yun, no? Ganun, ganun kalaki na itutunan na microwaves. No? Then C-band microwaves penetrate the clouds, dust, smoke, snow, and rain to show the Earth's surface. Most communication satellites satellites use C-bands, X-bands, and Q-bands, no? correct me if I most pronunciation, to send signals to a ground station. So ito po yung spectrum ng waves dito sa spectrum of frequency bands dito sa microwaves. So infrared, no? If we pick up the remote control and switch on the TV, how was the remote control able to switch on and operate the TV? A remote control uses infrared light to change channels on your TV. Earth scientists call the region from 8 to 15 microns as thermal infrared. Yeah. So, the discovery of infrared was led by William Herschel in 1800s. He noticed an even warmer temperature measurement beyond the red end of the visible spectrum while conducting an experiment to measure the temperature differences between the colors of the visible spectrum. So through this, um, he discovered infrared light that led to the discovery of thermal imaging. We need the aid of, aid of night vision goggles or infrared cameras for us to see infrared waves emitted by warm bodies such as humans and animals. And then in terms of ultraviolet wave, ultraviolet rays, if we went to mountain climbing, we are reminded that they should not only take care of their physical well-being. They should also wear protective gear with proper clothes, sunglasses, and sunblock. This is to protect them from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. So, tropical countries, including yung bansa natin, are loved by the tourists for its sun rays kasi malapit tayo sa linya ng equator. Alam nyo naman yun. At nandito, nandito tayo sa tropical country. And then, they visit the place to enjoy sunbathing and tanning. But according to researchers, or researchers, there is no such thing as a healthy tan. It is believed that UV from the sun um, is one of the causes of skin cancer and eye cataract. UV radiation has also been shown in experimental system to damage the cornea and lens of the eye that results to eye cataracts. So, nandito na tayo sa X-rays and gamma, gamma rays. Both rays are usually expressed in energy. This is because their wavelengths are so small. They are both useful in medical and health practices as well as in astronomy. So, in 1895, a German scientist named Wilhelm Rowengen um, first observed and documented X-rays through arms and hands produced um, detailed images of the bone. Actually, na na observe niya to, or sabi natin na accidentally observed, no? Nang habang tinutuklas niya yung X-rays and gamma rays. When an X-ray is taken and an X-ray sensitive film is placed on the one side of the body, and X-rays are shot through the other side of the body. Shadows of the bone are let on the X-rays film because bones are dense and absorb X-rays while the skin appears are transparent because of it cannot absorb X-ray. The sun's corona is much hotter than its surface and radiates mostly X-rays. Scientists use data collected by X-ray detectors on satellite in orbits around the Earth to be able to study corona. Japan's Hinode Hinod or Hinode, correct me if I am wrong sa um, pronunciation ko, Japan's Hinode spacecraft produced X-ray images of the sun that allow scientists to see and record the energy flows within the corona. And then brain cancers or tumors may, uh, may be treated alone by radiation therapy. Um, sometimes the radiation treatment is in combination with sur surgery or chemotherapy. There are three primary ways in administering radiation therapy in the treatment of brain tumors, namely, actually, tatlo yun. Yan na nga. Una, external beam radiation therapy or EBRT. Ito yung machine na 
It is a machine that helps to direct radi radioactive beams from outside the body to the cancerous tissues inside the body. So, ganyan yung process ng EBRT. And then next po, yung stereotactic radiation therapy or gamma knife. No? A compute and image-guided technique that directs radiation only at the tumor. Then lastly, yung brush therapy. Brush therapy it is a radioactive implant that is placed in or near the tumor. No? And then, um, dun na po nagtatapos yung ating lesson for this um for this EM waves and then kung meron kayong mga questions, clarifications or concerns, leave a comment below and then kita-kits po tayo sa susunod na lesson and then that's all for today. Goodbye!